Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. And this weekend I went to a yard sale and I got a few things. Um, got the monitor, USB speakers, and uh, the rest of the stuff I had, which is um, the charger here, uh, USB cord, Raspberry Pi 1, uh, 16 gigabyte SD card, micro SD inside of a adapter so it'll fit into the older Raspberry Pi 1. But today I wanted to make a little emulation station for my daughter. I'm going to be using Recall Box. She just wanted to play some older... Um, she saw me playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time on Main, and she really wanted to play it. Uh, she loves the Wii U. She plays Mario every day. So um, She's only four, and I just wanted to hook her up with a little setup in her room. Now... I've already installed Recall Box on the SD card, but we need to configure a few things. So I'm going to go ahead and plug everything in. I'll be right back. We will configure the setup and we'll add some ROMs to it and get her set up. So bear with me for a second. Let me get everything set up and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I just used some painter's tape. Uh, I didn't have any Velcro strips. I want to replace this with Velcro strips. But uh, other than that, we got the USB, dual USB hub. So we have the Raspberry Pi and we have the USB speakers. And I have the monitor plugged in. This will be actually going into a wall socket when it's in her room. So I'll be able to plug the ground in. But I wanted the dual USB so I could power the speakers also, along with the Raspberry Pi and the monitor. But it's, it's pretty clean. Um, it's just going to sit, you know, on her desk there. I'm going to turn this thing around. And we have her. Controller there. So everything will sit pretty clean in the uh, when it's on the desk. Um, as you see, the screen here is off. That's because I believe Recall Box is set at 1080p. I just need to go into the config file and edit a line of code. The Speakers are already working. Now this is plugged into the audio jack on the Raspberry Pi 1. I was expecting I would have to change that, but it defaulted to working, so. And these speakers are horrible. I got them for a dollar. But, she's only four and she will love it. It's gonna be perfect for her. So I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna show you what we need to do to change the resolution real quick, and we'll be right back. Okay, let me turn this down. Uh, in order to change this resolution, I have my keyboard also plugged in here uh, with a mouse. I could just go over network and change this, but we're just gonna quit. We're gonna restart the whole system. When it brings us to this screen, hit shift on your keyboard. Use your mouse to go to edit config. We just want to delete HDMI underscore drive equals two. That's all we're gonna delete and that should bring our resolution to the correct resolution. Now that is line one, two, that's line three. And I'm gonna hit okay, exit. When we come back to recall box or the emulation station front end, we should be configured at the correct resolution.
and the resolution looks perfect to me. There are already a few games preloaded on the recall box, but I will, I'll just start one of these games because I'm going to load up a bunch of games. I just have a cheap uh, 16 gigabyte class 4 SD card in here for her. But she really wanted to play some of those main games that I was, uh, she saw me playing the Punisher and stuff like that. And I definitely don't mind her playing those games at all. I just don't want to catch her playing Grand Theft Auto 5 yet. I would record this on my screen capture, but it's all set up here. So I figured I'd just record it on the phone for now. I know it's not the best quality, but it'll do. Another thing is I'm actually going to overclock the unit. There is a setting within recall box. So yeah, it's a controller setup. Um, she's gonna be using one of these USB cheap Super Nintendo controllers. Start and select should bring us back to the menu. my fault um, yeah so this is the Raspberry Pi one it has a single core uh, processor and I even noticed that the front end is really slow and laggy but if I overclock it it does help a lot and we're just gonna go to extreme which will be fun See the little cord comes right out of the middle there for, and the speakers fit under here pretty good. If you just slam it down a little bit, they'll stay put. Uh, I will be getting some Velcro strips just to mount everything together for. Her. I also have a two-year-old that might go behind here and just rip this thing apart and try to get to the Raspberry Pi. He loves electronics. The kid is crazy about them. So yeah, this is overclocked now to 1100 megahertz, and even the menus are faster. Gameplay is a lot better um, with the overclock. But yeah, I'm gonna load some MAME on here for her and get her set up. We'll do MAME, uh, SNES. She loves Yoshi, so I'll do definitely as many Yoshi games as I can find for her, and Sonic. So I'm not looking to run any higher end games than pretty much main is the highest end kind of stuff I'll be running on here for. Her. So she'll have lots of fun. I'll have hundreds of games that she can play. Appreciate you guys watching. Now this build, uh, depending on how much you get the stuff for, you know, I bought, this is a actually a Raspberry Pi I bought on Craigslist a week ago. I paid... They got 20 bucks. It came with a case, an SD card, a Wi-Fi adapter. You know, he wasn't using it, it was just sitting. So it's the Raspberry Pi one. 20 bucks for that. I paid $10 for the monitor and the speakers. Uh, the USB adapter was $5. It's a dual adapter. You can find them cheaper if you want to wait to get them shipped from China. And the controller here, I got four of these. It was nine dollars, eight dollars and ninety something cent shipped from China. 
So all together, 40 bucks, $40 to use this unit. Um, now this is, this is on the low end because I, I waited and I gathered my parts from Craigslist and online and I was patient and just got it all set up for her. So, I mean, $40 is not bad for having a nice emulation station that she can just set up in a room and play as much as she wants. Appreciate you guys watching. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, guys, thanks for watching.